Businesses are always trying to figure out the best way to increase creativity. Some believe creativity flourishes in environments where people feel calm, confident, and valued. They recommend minimizing critical feedback in favor of positive reinforcement, but some question that approach. After all, some of the most creative minds in history suffered from depression, yet they were still able to create some of the most amazing masterpieces under conditions of social rejection, harsh feedback, or even poverty. Is it possible that these creative geniuses succeeded not despite these difficulties, but because of them? To find out, we conducted an experiment with a number of participants. First, we measured their levels of dehydroepiandrosterone sulfate, which is an adrenal steroid that is linked to depression or vulnerability to experiencing negative situations. Next, we had them participate in a mock job interview in front of a panel of judges, during which they were evaluated on their performance. Regardless of how they performed, half of them were given positive feedback and given glowing reports on how they actually performed. The other half were given negative feedback, and they were told things like, you should think more before you speak. Finally, the participants were given a collection of objects and were asked to create artistic collages. What we found was that for those who got positive feedback, they didn't create the best collages. It was actually those who got negative feedback that created the most inspiring collages. And further, of those who were given the negative feedback, the ones with the lowest levels of DHEAS made the most creative masterpieces. In other words, it's not just emotional vulnerability alone that can enhance creativity. It was emotional vulnerability coupled with the stinging negative feedback that creativity soared. So does our research suggest that business leaders should be harsher to their workers if they want to spark creativity? Well, in some contexts, the answer to that question is yes. If you want to increase creativity in executional work, it's okay to give some harsh feedback. Give them the opportunity to bite off more than they can chew. That can actually help increase their creativity and make them perform even better. But this does not give you license to be a tyrannical dictator. It's important to test and adjust your approach depending on who you're dealing with. And when it comes to tasks like brainstorming, leave critical feedback at the door. An inclusive and encouraging environment is crucial for workers to feel comfortable contributing their ideas.